Hello everyone. Um, it's a great day to be live. It's a great day to be here at Mealy Creek HQ. So I'm going to do a full traverse bino harness review right here, right now. We've kind of shown some videos of what it's like to pull a bow back um, and we've highlighted a couple of the, the different features but I'm going to give a full review here. Hopefully answer some of the questions that a lot of people have asked. Number one, what fits inside of the Traverse Bino Harness? So, I'm gonna give you dimensions. So, the Traverse Harness will fit binoculars up to seven inches tall. So, here we have it, these are loophole 10 by 50s. They are exactly seven inches tall. Um, you can see how they fit in here. Um, also, 5.5 inches wide and then 3.25 inches in depth. So if you have binoculars and you have a question, we've had a lot of people ask us, will it fit this, will it fit this, will it fit this? Well, measure your binos. If they're seven inches or shorter, 5.5 inches wide or shorter, and um, less than 3.25 in their depth, they will fit in the Traverse Bino Harness. Now, I wanna show you what's inside. This is, this is kinda cool. Obviously as bow hunters and you know this harness was built by bow hunters, you know us It was built by you. You know we took all of your recommendations um, From the stealth buying harness what you didn't like what you did like and you know from our own experience in the field This is what molded and engineered this harness. So what's inside? Some people love tethers and they love to tether their binos. I personally don't like to do that, but some people love it. Now on the old harness, we tethered from the straps. Um, I didn't like that. If you wanted to adjust the shoulder straps, you kind of had to like adjust the tethers and it was kind of a pain in the butt. So what we did is we built in a secret pocket on each side and that's where your tethers will come from. You can barely even see that they're in there. So see the little loops? There you go, take them, loop them in. As I said, I don't use them, I don't like tethers, but some people do. Now if you don't want them, like me, you just roll them up here, stuff them inside this ultra secret little pocket, and they won't bug you. You can barely even tell that the pocket's there. Now, we lined this bino harness with a super quiet fleece material. As you can see, Ultra quiet, put in, take out, very easy, um, very quiet. So, what else did we do with the new Traverse Harness? We're very happy with one of, um, one of the first features that we decided to change from the old harness, and that is this one-handed pull grommet system. That kind of gives you a little look right there. So, what's cool about this? Now, on our old harness and out, on a lot of harnesses out there, the tension, it takes two hands. You gotta pinch and pull. Now, with our new harness, kind of look down here, one hand. Now, if you wanna release the tension, look at this, one hand. Pretty dang cool. A true one-handed system. Um, you know, people ask, what does it look like when it's open? You can either do that or you can, you know, fold it over like that, so. There you go. So once again, going back, true one-handed operation, really cool, really happy with that new grommet system that we came up with. Now, the front pocket. Some people absolutely loved the front pocket on the old harness, some people didn't like it. Now what it did do is it made it so it was a little bulky. Now you could fit a rangefinder and you could zip it over and then fully enclosed. Some people liked that. Well, we wanted to keep the Traverse Bino Harness nice and slim and compact, especially for bow hunters. You want to keep everything tight. So what we did is we came up with a, a pleated front pocket. Now what's cool about this pocket is when you unzip it, you can pull the pleat out and it actually pulls out with you. And you can fit up to you know, 10 to 12, 300 wind mag bullets in there, which is really cool. You can put calls in there, knives, um, whatever you want. I put all of those in there. So anyway, it's open right now. When you zip it, sucks in and not in the way. So that brings up our next question. What do you do with the rangefinder? Now there's a couple things you can do with the rangefinder. One of the things on my latest bear hunt, I actually, I have a, a loophole uh, 
rangefinder. That's about average size for rangefinders. And I actually put it in this side pocket. We made these side pockets out of a four-way stretch nylon material, and we did that for that reason, so that it could expand, but at the same time, so that it was really tight. So it's tight enough you can put calls, wind checker, um, whatever else, and it won't fall out, but it has enough stretch to it that you can fit a rangefinder in there. Now, another thing that we did, and as you can see, I, I take the tether and I just wrap it around um, that molly cord. So that's what we did. We put molly cords on each side. So a lot of um, range finders have clips on the back and then you can just hook it there. So a lot of people do that. Also, we're coming out with a specific range finder pouch that will fit um, on that molly. So that's gonna be, be out in the next couple months. So, um, next on the docket, what's next? Both side pockets, we've kind of covered those. Okay, probably the coolest change and the most important change that we made on this vinyl harness is the actual harness itself. Now, if you have the old stealth vinyl harness, you will have noticed that if you're a little bit bigger guy, have a bigger build, you know, broad shoulders, big neck, these straps would suck in and they would start to rub you. And so right away, you know, we got feedback from you guys. Also, you know, it would happen to us. So we changed those and we widened the angle of the buckles here. And we also widened the straps, put just a little bit of cushion there. And uh, it's a super, super comfortable harness, as you can kind of see here. Now we kept the mesh on the inside so that it was breathable. Um, Cause obviously you don't want to sweat to death. So still very breathable um, and we're just really, really happy, you know, with this harness. Eric and I both tested this harness all of last year and even um, into the year before that. So we've been working on this a long time. Every hunt we went on, we found something else we wanted to change and uh, you know, we changed it. So last thing, one of the coolest features and what has caught most people's attention is our pistol holster little sidearm carry, or you can put your iPhone in there. Now, let me show you how easy this is. Okay, this right here is a six hour P938. So I'm just gonna give you a little look of what it's like to put a handgun in and to take it out. So it's that easy, boom, it's in there. When you need to take it out, super easy and fast. Boom. So this is a, a six hour P938. We also have a Glock 27 here. A little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger. I'm gonna show you that it is also easy to put in. So Glock 27, once again, you wanna take it out. There's just a little Velcro piece. Boom. There you go, pistol holster. A lot of people will also want to fit their iPhones in there. So not only is it a little sidearm holster, but fit your iPhone in there real nice, snug it down. Um, you know, a lot of people put them in, hate hiking with phones in their pocket um, and they don't fit in their harness. So there you go, iPhone holster too. So once again, Traverse Bino Harness, check it out. Love that it's tight to your body, it's small, compact, perfect for the bow hunter, very quiet. And most importantly, well maybe not most importantly, but something that's very important to us is made in the USA. Um, you know, we support local sew so so shops. Um, they've supported us really well, we've supported them. And so, you know, when you buy a Traverse Harness, you're, you're supporting USA companies, which is really cool and it's important to us. And don't forget the little tag pocket Put your tags in there, you won't lose them. We want to thank those that have already supported us and purchased a Traverse Vinyl Harness. Um, there's a lot of sweat and tears and hard work that we have put into this harness. Um, you know, we've absolutely loved it. We hope you do too. Uh, give it a try and uh, we appreciate your guys' support. Thank you.